Uh, welcome to our match here, Jason Klatt and Vincent Calabrese. 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 I believe Calabrese is how he pronounces yeah, it. Yeah, I'll just call him Vinny. <laughs> Vinny and Jason, two very good players. Fairly even match. Yep. As you can see, obviously Fargo Rates says uh, Jason has a 59%. Uh, win probability and Vincent 41%, but their ratings fairly similar. Yep, and it's a winner's bracket match. Either the third or fourth round on the winner's side. So our format is race to seven, alternating breaks. I'm Gennaro Vasquez, and yeah. I'm here with Bill Stock. Yep, hello everybody. The 24th Annual United States Bar Table Championships at the Westgate Hotel in Las Vegas. We'll be here all week. We have three divisions, 10 ball, which we're doing now. Nine ball will follow on Tuesday. And eight ball will start on Thursday and we'll finish up on Saturday. Uh, Jason initially broke and the cue ball was right Looked like it was going to stop right in the middle of the table. It got kicked over, kind yep. of over in the corner pocket, as it often does on a bar table. I think you can see enough of that one to get it to the side. And you start shooting it like you can. Oh, good shot. Just kind of float back out for the three ball. Yeah, I think he came out a little further than he wanted. I think he's okay. Just come off the come off the rail a little bit. Leave himself with a four ball probably all the way down. The bottom left to corner. Our, yeah, yeah, bottom left corner. Yeah, well done. Again he probably That's a little more a cutting little little than harder. I think he would like, but yeah. He should be okay. The good news is, is he doesn't, I don't think he has to worry too much about holding it for the five ball. Mm -mm. Does it? He's perfect. Absolutely. Yep. That was a very nicely played shot. Now, wants to get a little bit of angle so he can get on the six ball, kind of come back down for the seven. Yeah, probably just drag it up the side rail a little bit. Just just past the six so he can go towards the seven. Well, he might be able to just draw straight back Yeah, now. I think he did. Yeah. If he would have come a little more, he could have went, you know, off the long rail or something. But he's, he's great. He's in great shape. Draw this ball back. Yep. Now it's pretty much shooter's choice. He can sort of just... Leave it in that general area and play the eight ball up. But I think he'll probably play for the side pocket and or bring it back out. Yeah, he could play to play it in either side really if he wanted to. He's about perfect there. He'll just roll forward just a little bit. Be straight on the nine. Well, if he's straight enough, he'll just yeah, he'll just stop his cue ball right there. Well, certainly seems like he has command of the speed of the table. Made some nice shots there. And he draws first blood. One nothing, Jason. He held his serve. Now I have not seen Vinny play, but I've seen his name in a lot of magazines and high results in a lot of tournaments. So. I watched him play <coughs> at the U.S. Open 10 ball that was at Griff's uh, back in July. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, he he played very well. There was a, I remember a, a kick shot that he made. And uh, he said to me later on, he's like, oh, that had to be at least a one in 50 shot. And I was like, yeah, for some of us, like one in <laughs> 500,000 maybe. But yeah. it was a very good shot. He's, he's a great player. But he didn't make a ball in the break, and he hooked Jason on the one. So, so there can be a push out here. 
Um, that's more than always likely. An option. Yep, more than likely. So on a push out, the shooter does not have to meet the usual rules of hitting a ball, the hitting the lowest numbered ball, and then hitting a cushion or anything like that. They can, in fact, just outright pocket the wrong ball if they want to. Yep, just don't foul. As long as you don't foul, it's a legal push. And a foul <laughs> might be, for instance, like if you scratch in a pocket or mm -hmm. um, something like that. Let's see, yeah, yeah. That, that constitutes a legal push out. Now it's Vinny's option to either take the shot or pass it back. Looks like he can see the right side of the one, so I'm going to... You know, probably try to get back behind the four. Mm -hmm. Mostly did. I think he left him a pretty, pretty likely hit. Yeah, kick to the side rail. Yeah. Yeah, the, and the cue ball. I'm not sure exactly what he's going to try to do here, but it looks like he might be able to hit the one ball thin enough. And maybe come bring the cue ball down on the, the left table edge a of the bit. one. Yeah, he might be able to see it. Yeah. Looking at the table, we can. If you can just slide the cue ball past the two like that. Good shot. That was a good shot. Well, he'll have to come off the long rail here, I think. I think he called it. Yeah, he called it in the corner. Oh, oh good shot. How good a shot was that? Goodness. Is that one of his oh. one in 50s? <laughs> yeah, that's my one in 500,000, <laughs> if that. But uh, he, he uh, got a nice little roll that came yep. up around the four ball, so he's got a good shot at the two ball. It looks like he can stop the cue ball with the nine. Ooh, I'm surprised he went forward with it. Yeah, I thought he would have just drawn into the nine and let stopped. Let that one go a little bit, but landed perfect. Not okay. You know, shape to that five is he pretty that's much just has here. to go down yep. straight down now. And that's the key to this rack, and he's got there okay. Yeah. Oh, he's not wasting any time, is he? He's no. Sees what he wants to do and just gets down there and just. Yeah, he landed perfect on the six. Taking a little bit extra time on this well, one. He might have a little off angle there where he, if he pulls it back a little, shoot it between yeah, the 9 and the 10. And it looks like it's right sort of in between there, doesn't it? Yeah. But apparently there's plenty of room. Yeah, he doesn't waste any time. No. <laughs> he's once he, has, once he has it down, he might have under hit that one a little bit. Yeah, he's okay. He'll just float off the end rail back up towards the middle of the table. That's okay. And one one. To one. one. Yep. Well, uh, Jason didn't waste any time either. So it was, uh, those are two very quick racks. Yep. I suppose that happens when you get up in the mid 700s, you know, from time to time. So. Well, and Jason played a nice save and then he kicked the one in and ran out. Yes, that was a great shot. Wow, that was a... Uh... Well, Jason broke and ran on his first opportunity of breaking. See what he does here. Using the magic rack and then yep. ten ball, the two ball and the three ball, doesn't matter which back corner they're in, they just have to be in the back corners. Ten ball, of course, in the middle. Well, a good solid break, but... The three ball? Yep. And a on shot the on the one. Everything's open. This is the key shot right here, the yeah, one ball. The angle from the one to the two is a little funny, but I, I think he'll probably be okay. He'll go across pocket the one. towards the Might other even side. Might go pocket. into it. Yeah. That's a little dangerous. I think you just float out to the other side of the two ball and shoot it in the same pocket you're shooting the one in. It looks like he's in a little draw. He's cueing it with draw. Yep, that's what he did. 
okay. Oh, he made that shot look <laughs> yeah. pretty easy. I'll tell you, that was not an easy you shot. And I'm assuming the four will pass the seven. It does look If like, not, yeah. he's got a combo or a carom either way. It appears it'll pass. Well, he doesn't seem too worried about it, so. Nope. It must go clearly by. It's like a half a pocket, I think. Yeah, the sheep, pretty much all he has to do is just go right up and down the table. Mm -hmm. Not, nothing too. He likes to just play nice and yep, easy. Yep, he's shape. fine. Yep. Leave himself a little angle from the seven, kind of float over. Probably back out almost where he is now, <laughs> not too far off. That wouldn't be bad, yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bit closer to the long rail, but. Okay, well, he'll go to the end rail now and spin over between the eight and the side pocket. Well, he just wants that downward angle when he shoots the eight so he can hold it. Hold for the, the nine, the nine yeah. ball. That's going to be fine. Yeah, that is just almost about <laughs> where he was in the... He probably a little more angle than he wanted, but it's still okay. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yep. He'll just roll that in and he'll he'll hold pretty straight. The nine straight. ball is enough on this side of the pocket that I don't think he needed to be like too straight. Right. There's sometimes that the ball is just sitting just a certain way. You have to be perfect. Well, does straight. he have enough cushion there to go off the side cushion and out for the ten with I that side pocket? I don't think pocket? so. I, th I don't think so. I think he's just gonna roll it up and. Oh, he had enough there, okay. Well, Jason's two for two on his break. It was that first shot really kind of mm -hmm. was the, the big one. Yeah, from the one to the two and that, then everything else was just connect the dots. Well, neither one of these guys are wasting a lot of time. No, so far the first three games have, have gone very quickly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean that's you know, Vinny really strikes me as a rhythm player. You know, when he yeah. he doesn't want to waste much time, <laughs> he wants to get right up to the next shot. Mm. Oh, he gets a. Gets a little kiss there for the ball to go in the side. And he's got a shot on the one. Does the two go by the four up to the corner? I don't know. There's, what, half inch between them maybe? Maybe it does. Well, he played for it, so I'm assuming it does. I don't think he would have played shape for it. Well, he got a funny angle there. Yeah, it, it, lo it just looks weird. you got to be careful you don't tickle off the four and go into the side pocket or something. Well, he has to play the four next year. So, oh, he's just playing safe. Maybe I'm it didn't go by it. Boy, that doesn't look like that worked. No. I don't think he can hit the whole ball. And then does he have a... Maybe he can. I it, I don't think he can hit... Oh, oh, yeah, he absolutely can hit the whole ball. Yeah, it looks like he might have to shoot the two ball into the point and go off the six ball. Or play the 2-6 combo. I think there's enough room to go off the cushion into the 6. Yep. Oh! Well, he's tried to play a straight in. Maybe tried to cheat it just a hair. And yeah, I'm not sure. Or maybe it did go off the cushion, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It just just touch that cushion just enough. You just hit it too straight. Cushion induced uh, English to throw it out of there. Okay, that's the first error we've seen today, or in this match. I think uh, if Vinny had a chance to play that safety over again, I think he would taken a little more care with it. <laughs> I think yeah. he would have liked to have that one because he did shoot it pretty quick. Yeah, of course that's his style too. Absolutely. Yep. Well, the eight. 
And the yeah, the eight nine and the nine are, nine are funny. really the tough ones at this point. So you could play the combo. The eight probably goes to the side if you get down there on that end of the table, or all the way down to the corner where the and play it up in this lower yeah. left corner. Yes. Yeah. Probably and because that would be a very steep angle to that side pocket, I'm guessing. If yeah, you have and how he gets on the seven is going to dictate. I think that might. He'll well, just come two rails. He'll go. He'll go to the long rail about the second diamond and then come back down again. And either hold for the corner or well, he can yeah, play in the he's side gonna, too. He's I got think a he's choice go here. All the way down. I don't think so. I think he's going to play the side. I was wrong, and he missed it. Wow. Well, that's one of those things because he was trying to negotiate holding it for the nine ball yep. while, uh, you know, cutting maybe like quarter ball yeah. cut down. I thought he had a decent angle for the side where he could have just rolled it in, but our our angle is often different. What we see is different than what it actually is. Well, of course, these guys play at a very different speed, but, uh, I mean... You know, that steep angle to that side pocket. That mm -hmm. you know, the, the, These diamonds, those sides can play a little tricky sometimes. Well, any any seven-foot table uh, angles at the sides are pretty tricky. Yeah, it's three to one. Well, in the alternating break format, it's... Yep. Uh, and Jason has held both his serves so far. Well, it's great to have you along. I'm Gennaro Vasquez in the booth with Bill, Bill Stock. Stock. And uh, it's the 24th annual U.S. Bar Table Championships here at the Westgate in Las Vegas. We're watching a match between Jason Klatt and Vincent Calabrese. And Steven is updating the score for us. You'll see Jason has kind of that uh, same approach to the break as Shane Van Mm-hmm. Very similar. Three ball, or was that oh, the five? Oh, watch out. Oh, man, that ball almost got Boy, I don't think he can see enough no, of that one to can't. make it. He can see about... 90% of it, yeah, which but he is needed 10% more. too. <laughs> he needed 100% on this shot. Yeah. Maybe he can. No, I don't, I don't know. think so. Yeah. No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's looking at some kind of safety or... I mean, he actually, just really wanted yeah. a gander at it, I think. Is all it he's is. actually lucky it didn't scratch. Yes, I thought it for a minute that it was going to scratch here for sure. So it's going to push. Yeah, push out. Well, I mean, there's some safeties to be had here. I guess you could try to slide the cue ball back up on the bottom rail by the three ball. That would be one potential. Yeah, there's three balls over there that he potentially could get behind. You know, the thing of it is, you kind of open up. If you hit it hard enough to do that, I think you open up the one ball a little bit, though. Yeah, you'd have to be you sure. Don't, in case you don't, you might leave it for that side pocket. That's true. Yeah, he's he's looking this one over a little more carefully. And he's going to give it back. Hmm. And Jason's going to do what we just said, I'm sure. Yeah. <coughs> but it's definitely tricky because that two wheel is going to kind of trap the one mm -hmm. that hit it that way. So it's going to stay right by that side pocket. I think Vinny passed that up because he cannot afford to make a mistake. He's got to hope that Jason makes a mistake. Being down three to one, Vinny can't afford to lose this game. And he didn't get far enough. Yeah, no. exactly what we said. Like the, the one ball kind of got, but that's a tough I don't know shot if into the side, though. That's a real tough shot. A, it, I don't even know if that'll go from there. 
Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the shot. You, you know, but it's easy, safe. He can just hit the one ball, roll up on the two, kind of mm -hmm. bank the one ball up toward the corner. I think that, that seems like that might be a, a good approach. Uh, Did he leave him a window there? Nope. I see a jump shot in the. I see a jump shot in the near future. Yep. Or Jason. I don't think he's going to attempt that jump shot with his full length cue, though. No, he's he's only got to jump a quarter ball though, so. And he's awful close to that ball. He might try it with that full cue. It's only a quarter ball. But he's got. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he's got to get it up quick. Not real thrilled with it. Yeah, he's going for the shorty. Yeah, I don't really blame him in one in one way because, you know, if he goes ahead and uh, makes this ball, he's pretty flat. So, like, it might not come up. He might have a weird shot on the two ball. A lot more angle than he'd like. He's thinking about this one, he's giving this one a good thought. Maybe he now decides he's gonna kick at it. You know what? I mean this is a this is a big shot for him because yeah. I mean if he makes this shot and somehow runs out and makes it four to one, that, that's Yeah, he's gonna you know, kick three rails he, he was looking bet at. He wants to go for you know, he wants to go for the kill here. Well he's looking at the three rail kick, but I don't I think the two balls in the way. Well, you know, we'll see. looks like he's going three rails. Yeah, might even be going four. No, oh, he's, he's just, just trying to tie to something safety, up. But it didn't happen. No, that didn't really work. He wanted that three. And he, was, he wanted it up by the eight ball. Yeah, he wanted to tie that yeah. up. Yeah, he wanted it up by the eight ball. Well, that's a lot of angle there, but he's okay. Oh, he's not going to get off that cushion enough, I don't Is think. Is it going to off? Oof, it's, it's close. close. It's very close. Guess we'll find out. He, <laughs> must, he thinks he's got it. He's shooting right at it. Oh, yeah. Okay. He almost didn't get there, though. <laughs> yeah, I think he want, would have liked to spun out a little more, but it worked out. That was a careless shot. He just got down and fired. Yeah, he rushed it maybe a little bit. You know, I am nearly certain Vinny was on the men's team that won uh, the Masters uh, down the, at the CSI national event. Oh, the platinum? Yeah, the platinum level. You know, I have seen his name recently, so I, that's very possible. I was lucky enough to be on the team that came in third in the gold. Oh, wow. Which was a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Well, you know, well, there was like 384 teams in our division, so a lot of things have to go your way to get that far. That's a lot of pool. Yeah, it was. I'll do anything to get out of work. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be commentating. Well, I'll probably just try to come out to the middle of the table, or is he just going to stop over the side? Yeah, he'll just go to the side. You don't want to move your cue ball any more than you have to. Now, if that 10 ball is closer to the rail, the side rail, he'd play for the corner. But, well, four to one, and Vinny is in a must win situation now. So let me ask out. you, you play at a, a, a reasonably high caliber. I used and, to, yeah. Um, would this, in your opinion, you know, let's say you're Vinny, would you want to take a five-minute break to try to recalibrate? Absolutely. Or? Try to maybe 
cool your opponent off a little bit really or just regroup? Me, it just really feels to me as a player that, uh, you know, like this might be a good time to just kind of, you know, take a minute yeah, away from the Yeah, take your five-minute break, go splash some water on your face, wash your hands or something. or Because that is the last thing you needed right there is to... And maybe try to, to take a little momentum away from your opponent. But I don't know if he can make the one ball. I don't think he can see any of it, can he? Tough to say. He's kind push of looking out. at a push out. Yep. Yeah, he's not going to take any chances now. He's not going to give Vinny an easy game. He's going to make him earn well, it. Well, I think this time he can leave the cue ball behind the nine, kind of push the one ball. Or he could go the other way and leave it behind the ten, too. He could have gone either way. Yeah, he underhit it. He didn't get far enough. Yeah, he underhit it a little bit. And the two ball's sitting right in front of the side, so as long as you don't hook yourself, you'll have a shot. Everything's open. Just roll this in and roll off the end rail past the uh, seven, just so you can see the two. It's kind of like that. Went a little further than he wanted, I think. He's still okay. <clears throat> well, you may have to. You know, the side rail and the end rail, maybe. Or something here. Spin two rails out. You may end up playing that three ball up in the other corner, or the side over there. That's what I'm thinking. Go to the side rail, the yeah. end rail, and towards the three. Then you'd have an option on which pocket to shoot it in. Here, I'll telestrate it with my finger so Bill can see it. You guys can see <laughs> that's what, Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking, too. Now, they have telestrator ability with this oh, equipment. Oh, gosh, boy. You know what? That, that was that, careless. Yeah. This is a moment where... That's our kind of shot. Yeah, well, <laughs> and it just feels like a moment where, like, it could be a big turning point, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, this could sway. This could swing swing things around. Well, from five to one, it was almost certain to be five to one to four to two. And again, he he's not wasting any time up there. He's no. Stop, stop. Yep. Almost stop. So that, that really feels like that could be a turning point. It seems mm -hmm. like, it, you know, in a match, there's almost always one or two points where things could turn. Well, let's see. Let's see how Jason responds here. Well, that was a big win, big game for Vinny to Absolutely. win there. Absolutely. Well, they went from having... You know, like almost a, no an chance. 11 <laughs> yeah. rate chance. Almost to, no chance to, yeah. you know, he's still breathing. Absolutely. And it's 10 ball. It, you know, the break, you know, mm -hmm. key ball gets kicked in a funny way or something. You just never know what's going to happen. Yep. Especially on the seven foot tables. And by the same token, Jason is like, you know what? It's I'm breaking. This is the spot I want to be in. Yep. And I can just really, you know, take even greater command of this match. Well, he controlled the cue ball real well in that, but he three, six, nothing. Straight into the he one. Straight in on that one. Five, nine, four, six, or four, seven are problems. Mm -hmm. Five, nine, especially. The four six. A little nip shot. To it took care of that. So the five ball is a problem. Five ball is a problem. Let's see. How do we solve that? Because there's three balls up in the corner, four balls kind of up in the other corner. You might be able to bank it cross side. Mm. Oh, do you want to do that down four to two though? Oh, no, I don't want to do it. But you <laughs> might be forced to. <laughs> no, I absolutely don't want to. And I don't even know if that banks on anyway. He's looking at it now. 
But then even if you do bank it, your cue ball's going to hit that yeah, nine, and you don't me, know if you're going to lean on the six very good. I would probably be leaning towards some kind of safety here, but, you know, as a rhythm shooter and as good a shooter as he is, he may just uh, decide he's going to go for it. I'm not sure there's a great safety available, though. Well, we'll see. Yeah, he's, I think he's going to bank it. I do, too. I don't see a safety here that's really going to. But you know, that nine ball could trap that it. ball up table. He called the bank. And he fired wow. again. Better hope that nine doesn't hurt you there. Yeah, Ooh. He got away with it. <laughs> again, it's such a tough shot. And he just yep. jumps up there like nothing. <laughs> and pops it in. And he landed perfect on the seven. So yep. he's well, he must be feeling good. He's certainly uh, shooting shooting in rhythm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be, well, we'll see. Four to three now. Jason's ahead, and Vinny's got the break, and he's got the momentum now. Right back in this thing. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago he was. Well, it looked like it was going to be five to one. Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> sure did. <coughs> and, you know, Jason, with how well he had been playing, you would definitely yeah. have thought he was going to get out there. Yeah, that was a tough scratch. Uncharacteristic. Unforced error. And a ball's in, and he's going to be hooked behind the six. So I see a push out coming. So where do you play this push out? Because well, the two balls on that end, you, I don't think you want to allow anything where he's going to be able to come back around. Hmm. Well, there's nowhere. He might just. Yeah. It's going to be hard for Jason to pass this back. It is. But it's in a tough spot. Well, that's, uh, I don't, I, this is the kind of shot where I don't think you can really, like, play sheep per se. It's such a thin cut. Well, if you play it in the right, top right corner. That's going to kind of come around. Yeah, but the cue ball's also going to, could possibly go dangerously close to that corner pocket. If you go to the other, the top left corner and try to spin around, that's a tougher shot. I don't know. Maybe just try to find some kind of safety? Possibly. Oh, I don't I really see him know. I didn't see him call anything, so he is either playing a straight in or he's uh, not calling a pocket. Yeah, he's drawing it. I think he's going for the shot in the corner. Yep. Wow. How good did he hit that? He hit that really good. Oh, and he, wow. Now he's got a pretty easy safe. Yeah, this is a good safety. I mean, it'll cut to the lower left corner, but do you want to chance it? Well, and there's just a lot of, there's a lot of activity down there. You try to cut that ball, maybe this, you know, the seven traps you down there yeah. or the six or something, you know. That's kind of what I saw, but I don't think he... I think he wanted to hit just a little harder. Well, he left him the edge, I think, didn't he? No, I think he's going to sure? have to go rail first. Well, I'm not sure, but I think he's going to Well, rail first, first, but I thought maybe he could see the edge of the two. I don't think so. And I don't know if he called it in that cross in the side over there or not. If he hits the, the edge of the two ball, he can kind of just float back off and maybe try to get behind mm -hmm. the eight ball. I think that might be what he's trying to do. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Oh, he hit that good. Yep. Well, he certainly turned the table on that one, didn't he? Yep. Jason called it in the upper right corner. He's going to try to carry it off the three, which I don't think that's on, but it wasn't. That was a good hit, but... Yep. 
Hmm. We'll have to sort of tough. Oh, that is sitting funny, isn't it? I, can I, don't, see. I don't know if he can make that ball. I could see calling a ref. Yeah, I think he's going to play safe if he can't make it. It's hard to tell if he can. Just get behind the seven. Hmm. Hmm. Another safe here. I don't think he's got a chance oh, yeah, playing no. it up yeah, in the he's corner. He's definitely playing safe. Just stick him on the back of that six. Just like that. Well, yeah, come with a kick shot. See what happens here. Mm -hmm. This is a pretty big game too. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's basically, you know, if Jason goes up, he's two games away from winning. Um, you know, if Vince Vinny wins, he ties it up. Wow! Right in the heart. That's his. That's his fifty yep. to one shot there. Another tough one coming. <laughs> it's makeable, but oh, you're think a he's long ways away. It. I, oh, he's no, finding he's a safety somewhere. I don't think he hit it that well, though. No, he left the ball laying in the middle of the pocket. Jason doesn't have to do anything, really. Just get the cue ball off the end rail a little bit, and he's got a shot at the five. Yeah, I don't think he's going to try to cut too far down. I think no. he, he wants the angle's the most important thing here. Yep, just like that. Now he just has to float out to the middle of the table with the cue ball. I don't think you need to flirt with touching any of those balls. Just go on the left side of the eight there as you're looking at the table. Laying pretty good. That's straight. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty straight. That's yep. pretty straight. You might have to play the short side of that seven. I think you do, yeah. And don't roll up to get too straight on the seven. Ooh, that's oh, perfect. He's, yeah, he's can't really lay it too much better than that. He's come back out, yep. go toward the long rail, just bounce out a little bit. Just like that. Well, he stopped the bleeding. Yeah, and and he gets to break now, so. Yeah, a break he, leading five to three. He has a chance to go mm -hmm. to the hill if he can find a way out of this break. Now an 85% mm -hmm. probability to win here. Well, if you're Vinny, you know, he's breaking. Uh, you're down two games. But I I have a feeling that, you know, Vinny, if he gets a chance to get up there, you know, he's he's going to be looking to, to run out and get back oh, yeah. in this match. Yeah, if he could manage to win this game at 5-4 and then be breaking, you know, he'd have a chance to tie it up. But Jason's been breaking pretty well. I think he's made balls on every break but one. Yeah. And his first two breaks, he broke and ran out. Correct, yep. Yeah. And he broke the last break he had. He got unlucky and didn't have a really good shot at the one. That's right, It yeah. was tied up almost on that two a little bit. Almost got kicked into the yep. side. No, when he almost scratched, yeah. Again, well, controls the cue ball. Oh, gosh, he got kicked again. Yep, and he spread him out nicely. Well, this is the situation we were talking about, though. Vinny, mm -hmm. now coming up, he gets ball in hand, a chance to run out. He might try to make both these right um, here. Nope. Boy, I just don't think that eight ball is sitting a little funny, but other than that, it's... Can't really tell. I think it goes to the side. 
it's a little bit off the rail, but I can't tell how far, how close to the side it is. Looking at the table, it looks like it's just straight out from the point, so I think it does go. Got kind of straight Left on the seven. Kind of a half ball cut here. Gonna probably play the eight ball. I gotta believe he, mm. he's gonna play it in the side. I it think. must be more accessible to the side than I originally yep. thought it was. Well, if he can draw out of there, then Ooh. he had a lot more pocket than it looked like. Yeah, it, yeah, it almost kind of bobbled. Yeah, it did. Is he gonna pick the magic rack off there before he shoots that ten? Sure doesn't look like it. <laughs> Didn't even move. Nope. 5-4, Vinny's breaking. Well, that is the thing, especially about 10 ball, you know. It, you shoot that controlled break with every effort to try to make sure you don't scratch and have a shot, you know, when you pocket a ball and, you know. Yep. Ball comes around and kicks it into the corner pocket. Yep. And, he, you know, he spread them out real nice, made a couple balls. Well, the layout was oh yeah, it was, was fantastic. Really nice. You got an unlucky kiss. Is he gonna get something in? Doesn't look like it. Well, there's a shot on the one, but difficult position on the two. A very different break. So it looks like Vinny uh, he controls the cue ball, but he he definitely is not afraid to. Definitely afraid to smack up Jason a little more yep. controlled break. And the two ball is the key to this rack here. Well, if he makes the one ball, there's the two three combo because I think that's what you'd have to be looking at. The three ball or two ball does not go past the three, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't think that two ball passed the three. So he's going to play the combo. Oh. Now he's calling it. He's banking the two. Cross top corner. <laughs> well, he, he figures that uh, if he That's, makes I it, he's got a shot. It's more of a safety play than anything. And if you miss it, he's just, he just strictly played the safe. Yeah. He called it just in case it went, and he wouldn't want to make it without calling it and then give Vinny the option to. This yeah, is not an easy not. hit. No. The natural angle, well, he's got to go between the six and the eight. So the natural angle's. Probably going to have to hit the end rail great. first before the two. He's going to try to tie something up here, maybe. I think he's looking at every option. <laughs> he might not, with the, not where the six is set, he might not have the angle to get to the two. Well, and I think that's why he was yeah. looking, because he was sort of looking to put a little mass A or something to sort of juice it a little bit off the rail. Yeah, that six ball's definitely wanting to come into play there. So he's got to hit it so that it bends after it hits the rail, bends around yeah, the six ball. Yeah. It's not an easy shot. No, no, it's not. Oh, how good he hit it. Oh, wow. About as good as he could, really. I think and he got a little good of a roll here. He did. And a little bit of a good roll there. Well, thanks for joining us for the 24th Annual U.S. Bar Table Championships. I'm Gennaro Vasquez with Bill Stock. Yep. Watching a pretty tight match here between yep. Vinny and Jason. And we'll be here all week with good matches. Ten ball, nine ball, and eight ball. And, of course, we got... Many, many matches going on in the on the tournament floor. In fact, Sheen Van Boning is playing a match uh, off 
on in the distance. Ten, yeah. Nine or table ten. I think oh, he's he playing hit that he's ball play so well. Oh yeah, my did. goodness. Wow, he hit that ball well. Yeah, Shane's out there playing uh, Jesse Engel. He's from your home state, I believe, right. isn't he? Represented yeah. Minnesota. In fact, uh, you know, Shane, uh, not too far from Minnesota either. <laughs> That's true. Good shot. Let's see if he gets shape. Let's see he's if he gets bump it. He's not going to get rewarded. No. No, he's not. You know. How about a little bank shot up to the other corner? Kind of looks like there's a. Oh, where'd you, where's your path? You, well, you hit right on the rail. Well, I know, but how are you going to get the, it to there? Oh. That 10 ball sitting right in the way. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. I'll, I wish I could show you. No, I'm just kidding. So there's a reason you're not competing with these guys then. <laughs> well, uh, yes, I have to say that's probably true. <laughs> Because you would try silly shots like that. Oh, yeah. So Jason comes up and he has an opportunity to. He has an opportunity to. Looks like he's going to have to kick at it here. And he's going to end up safe. Nope, not yeah, quite. He left him a shot. Well, kind of. That is, he's got maybe half pocket there. Might even be able to kiss a little bit of that eight ball to get it in there. That oh, he had room to. to play it clean. Yeah. yeah. Well, it appears we're going to be 5-5. Five, five. Oh, it sure didn't look like it at one point. It looked like it was going to be five to one at one point. Yeah, it did. Well, and it's five to five, and it's Jason's break. Now he's been breaking the balls real good. He's just scratching. How big of a game is this, though? Oh, this one's Winner huge. goes to the hill. Yep. Winner goes to the hill, so this is a huge game in yeah, this match. Uh, Jason can keep the cue ball out of the pocket here. He's been spreading them and making balls really well. Well, and the cue ball has more or less been stopping in the middle of the table. And it getting kissed, getting, yeah. It's know, been kissed a couple of times. Yeah. Doesn't gets kissed around a little bit this time, but nothing yeah. too. Nothing he made something too wild. Got all he's got is one on the side, but then. Well, the problem is it carries the cue ball. ball. Yeah, the cue ball goes. It's going away from the down two. Down table yeah. from the two. So. Hmm. That's probably exactly what he's thinking. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Well, can you play the one to the end rail here and tuck the cue ball behind the six and the nine? Yeah. Or the seven and the nine? That's a good shot. Um, most likely that is what he's going to do. Yep. Yeah, because he could have made the one, but it would have been silly to make it. There would have been no shot on the two. Most likely. Other than a bank shot. Most likely a jump shot here, I'm guessing. No, he's kicking. kicking it. Good hit, and he. Oh, if it gets up on the three, that's yeah, yep. that's not a bad shot anyway, because I don't think that one ball goes. Not in the corner, no. That's no, awful thin cut well, on the side. <laughs> you gotta get out the extra <laughs> thin Ginsu knife to cut that one in the side. Yep, and spin and everything. Yeah. And you're going to catch even a little piece of do? the three ball, I think. You're going to catch a little piece of three ball, too. Cue ball could go towards the corner. It could, who knows. 
might not be able to keep the cue ball at that end of the table. He's still he's like, not happy yeah, with it. It's, uh, You know, he could just go off of the right edge of the one ball, playing the one right into the three and put the cue ball up two rails, mm -hmm. kind of on the top rail up there, leaving the three ball in the way of the one. He's not liking any part of the shot. No. I don't blame him. I think he's going to try and just leave the cue ball behind the three. Yep. No, he did what oh, you he did said. What, he did what I said, yep. And the cor bottom right corner is blocked with the six, so he can play the combo. But his cue ball is froze to the rail, so he's a long, long shot. Hard to be real accurate. He might Maybe have. go rail first off of the six? He might be able to do the same safety that Jason did before, tuck that cue ball behind. Yep, oh, yeah. just like that. Good call. Yep. Oh, he left it. Although the speed was not there. Um, yeah, he, he did try that. Well, this is not an easy cut shot either, no. though, especially off that rail. That's but he is rated a 755. Mm -hmm. So... Well, if you play safety here, how do you do it? Not get, sure. Skim off the one, get right back up there where he is, except try to get behind the... Well, that's an option, definitely. That might be the easiest option. And then you got the four and the ten that, even if you don't get the total hook behind those two balls... Right. Well, you have one a couple ball. of chances. You have yeah. a chance to hook the one. Uh, he called yeah. it. He called it in the corner. He called it in the corner. So now the cue ball's going to go... Hardly say it might go into the seven nine. It might just like that. I think he was trying to make that ball. I do think he was trying. Well, to now make he that just ball. he opened yeah. everything up. If he can get on the two somehow. That is a mighty thin cut on the one. No, it's <laughs> not that thin. The but the tra mm -hmm. the pathway to the two is a little rough. Well, Worked out just like that. Is he jacked up? A little bit. He'll have to shoot around the ball. Oh, he's okay. Boy, if Vinny can get out here, he'll be up 6-5 and breaking. Whew. Wow, it's he's not good. afraid to let that thing go, is he? No, and he landed just about perfect. Yeah, it looks like the eight ball's got to go to a corner. Yeah, probably this bottom corner down here. Probably. Yep. That's just about right, so we can get the cue ball off the rail. Then he wants to follow up a little to create an angle towards the 10. Yeah, it can't leave That's much not better perfect. than that. Yep. Just a little stun shot. And he's going to be breaking on the hill. Mm. Pool, it's a funny game. So what do you think, if there was a turning point, what do you think the turning point was? I think it was er earlier when it was 4-1, to one and uh, one of the big turning points, 4-1, to one and Jason scratched when it looked yeah, like he was going to get out. Yeah, we talked about it at that point. It looked like he was really, mm -hmm. you know, in the driver's seat. and Because it ended up being 4-2 to two at that point, then it was 4-3. to three. So that's when, you know... Then he turned it around and he got some momentum. Oh, good spread, made a ball. He's open on He's the got one. A clear shot at the one. Yep. Looks like the two nine is pretty much wired to the side. Or you can just kind He's of flow forward and play the two into the corner. He might even have to because the cue ball is so close to the rail there. That'd probably be the best thing to do. Just come yeah, forward and shoot it up in the corner. Yeah. Stun it or something like that. No, nope, just roll it in and roll up. Just like that. <laughs> Got an angle I think is going to carry him a little bit into the nine ball. Mm -hmm. Just brush it. But nevertheless, still. 
taking a good look at it. Ooh. Man, he didn't get it. He did not yeah, get it. Yeah, he did not. That's tough. I don't like him drawing out of that. I thought he would have rolled forward. Yeah, I would think so, too. Is he going to play it in that upper right corner? I don't think he... Mm -hmm. He was looking at it. He is looking at it. Or is he just going to try to play a safety shoot the shoot it into like the four ball leave the cue ball along the rail can he do that just try to push it up on one of those balls not sure yeah that boy that is not where you want to be when you're on the hill and <laughs> just trying to close it out and he Let's called it cross corner it's even worse if your opponent's on the hill, but, yep, he's going to go for it. Maybe he figured that the shot was, wow. you know, the safety might have been equally as hard as the shot, so why not go for it? Now what, does that go on the side? Oh, yeah. You sure? <laughs> I don't think he has the entire pocket, but. No, he had no problem. He fired it in there. And he landed just about perfect on the five ball. He can come over and back over for the eight. And I'd venture to say that this set is over. Yeah, it's cut in, float up. <laughs> Yeah, even he kind of, for a second. Uh, well, there you go. Vinny fought hard, fought back, and won this set. Well, how about that? What a comeback by Vinny. He was down at one point, four to one. Yep. And uh, the, there came a turning point where uh, he just pulled back into the match. Yep. Well, it's the 24th annual U.S. Bar Table Championships. We'll be back with more action in a short while. Be back in 30 minutes for another great